Hey everybody, I am so excited to be back from my New Year's retreat and share with you the three ways you are going to be able to superpower your new year because 2018 is going to be the year of unconditional love, prosperity, and security. And we're going to get there all by way of gratitude. But hey, if you don't know me or we've never met before, my name is Mary Shores and I am the best-selling author of the book, Conscious Communications, your step-by-step -step guide to harnessing the power of your words to change your mind, your choices, and your life. And you know what, guys? I can teach you these things because I truly believe, and it's backed by science, that you can change your reality with just your words. Now, hit the like button if you can hear me okay, because I like to make sure everyone can hear me. And um, I am really excited because we are going to make the focus of 2018 be these three key elements, unconditional love, prosperity, and security. And I'm going to share with you today how we're going to get there, all by way of gratitude. So I'm so excited because I just got back from this amazing meditation retreat in the uh, the Blue Hill Ridge Mountains in Virginia. And I'm like renewed and supercharged. You know, I go to this retreat because it's a great way to reflect on the year of 2017 you know, who are the new people in your life? Who have you let go? Well, who has impacted you? What are the, what has impacted you the most in 2017? What are your accomplishments in, in 2017? You know, what are your regrets? And then to supercharge your 2018 by really focusing on what is it you want. And this information is so powerful because the way that we are going to get there in 2018 is with unconditional love, prosperity and security all by way of gratitude. So I am coming to you live from Champaign, Illinois. Let me know in the comments where you are listening from. You know, it's really amazing how many times like there's two people in the same city or in the same region. So let me know where you're watching from. I am from Champaign, Illinois. It is a frozen tundra here right now. You don't want to come here. And it's also like the land of cows and cornfields is what I would like to say. All right, I'm so excited. All right, let's start with unconditional love. Now, unconditional love, and I mean unconditional love for yourself. When you can get into unconditional love, you will explode all of the things that no longer serve you. And I'm talking about unconditional love for yourself. This begins with gratitude. And what I mean by gratitude is it is vitally important for you to be grateful for all of your skills, talents, and abilities. When you are grateful for the talents that God, the universe, you know, whatever it is that you call the higher power, you were born into this life with gifts that are yours and yours alone. Okay, and I want you to be grateful for every one of those gifts. If you're a teacher, be grateful for your teaching abilities. If you're a healer, if you are a scientist, if you're a writer, if, if you're a janitor, you know, be grateful for all of your skills because when you are grateful for your skills, your abilities, and your natural talents, they are going to explode everything that no longer serves you. Okay, this is so important. So your homework assignment from this part is to make a list of all of your greatest gifts. Okay, and if you don't know what your gifts are, if you're not sure, then take a personality test. Okay, find a Myers-Briggs, find a DISC profile, find an astrology report, figure out your natural talents. Okay, so go ahead and tell me some of your gifts in the comments. Uh, because I would love to uh, for you guys to share them with each other. Now, here's the thing. When you are grateful this year in 2018, your, when you are grateful for your skills, talents, abilities, it is going to create unconditional love for yourself. And when you are grateful for your skills, talents, and abilities, it is going to explode and become the foundation for your prosperity. Okay, so the second focus for 2018 is prosperity. And um, what I mean by prosperity is 
that we're going to have greater prosperity. In 2018, it's a year for greater prosperity. I can feel it in my bones. I am so excited about this, you guys. I mean, already I got a message from somebody who just got great news like 10 minutes ago. It's only the third of the year. Today is January 3rd, and I've already received so much good news of things coming up this year that it, it's blowing my mind. So the focus of greater prosperity is going to come from your gratitude of the things that you already have. Okay, because all of these are manifesting through our gratitude. What do I mean by gratitude for what you already have? Your foundational resources. Okay, be grateful for your running water. Be grateful for your heat. Be grateful for your car. Because if you're not grateful for everything you have, I am grateful for this scarf. I am grateful to have a bed to sleep in. I am grateful to have a car that, that brought me to work today. You know, last night um, when I was coming home from this meditation retreat, my planes were all delayed. Everything was all delayed. And when I finally landed back here in Champaign, Illinois, there was some people in the airport and they were like yelling and screaming about their luggage not showing up on time. And you know, I can understand that frustration because it's frustrating if you don't have your luggage. But like they were in their hometown. So if they didn't have their luggage until tomorrow, it's not the end of the world. They, they, be grateful that you landed safely. Be grateful that you got home. Be grateful that you weren't stranded in another town. Be grateful for your resources. Because if you're not grateful for them and they were to disappear, you know, it is like negative a million here in the Midwest right now. What if you didn't have a coat? What if you didn't have gloves? What if you didn't have heat? What if you didn't have running water? You know, yesterday at my office, the pipes were frozen. We didn't have running water. My staff couldn't use the restroom. They had to go to the gas station and use the restroom. Thank goodness. I'm so grateful that there's a gas station down the street. <clears throat> Take a moment. Tell me in the comments what you, what resources you are grateful for in your life. When you are grateful for your resources, your resources, your foundational resources are going to explode and they're going to bring to you greater prosperity, okay? And then now the third thing is security. So when you are grateful for your skills, your talents, and your ability, which is going to create in you the unconditional love, then you are going to, <laughs> then you are going to explode your prosperity. So when you explode your gifts, when you're grateful for your gifts, your natural skills, gifts, abilities, your talents, all right, the, you're going to be re rewarded by those gifts growing. And when those gifts grow, that will be what brings in your greater prosperity. Those two things together are going to result in security. Now, what does security mean? Security means we need to trust. We need to trust in the higher power, our higher self, the universe, God, Buddha, you know, whatever you believe, it doesn't matter, but you need to trust in your own gifts. You need to trust in your own mission. And when you do that, the security will be brought to you. Okay. Some more things about security. Security leads to ultimate freedom. All right. Because what we all want is to be satisfied in this life and to have freedom. We are truly free in this country. We can make our own choices. You know, we can be choosing moment to moment what we want to do, what we want to focus on. So this, <clears throat> this all leads to security. All right. When you increase your unconditional love, remember it's unconditional love for yourself. When you are the, the unconditional love for yourself, when you are grateful for your skills, talents, and abilities, it is going to bring to you greater prosperity in 2018. And then when you have those two things, the result is this security. So I am, so, you guys, I just could not wait to get back from this meditation retreat because um, I have been writing pages and pages of notes and I could not wait. I actually um, wish I could have went live from my bunk in Virginia mountains, but honestly, there's like no internet. So what are you going to do? You're going to be grateful that you have space. I'm grateful for that I had the space that I couldn't go live. 
So, all right, some things, some special announcements. I am so excited that Hay House has this new catalog. It's called New Year, New You. I have put the link in the uh, comments and it was going to, in this catalog, there are discounts on all the products and things that are gonna support you to this unconditional love, to this gratitude. It's all about gratitude. You know, chapter one in Conscious Communications is all about cultivating a positive focus and you do that by gratitude. So the exercise in chapter one in here and in all of your workbooks is about gratitude. Now also on the on the New Year New You catalog is uh, Gabby Bernstein's Judgment Detox and her Power Thought cards. So that's very exciting. So check out the catalog because everything is on sale, including my best-selling book, it's in the bestsellers category for only $8. That's quite a deal. And to share with you that I am bringing my new year, new you message to Hay House um, via Hay House Live on January 8th at noon Eastern on their page. So the way that you guys, they've actually invited me for a monthly series. So it'll be very exciting. So if anybody has any questions about you know, here would be some great questions. If you want to know like how to manifest this um, unconditional love, this prosperity and this security in 2018, let me know if you have any questions because I am excited and happy to join, to answer your questions. And I'm also happy for you guys to get started right now and tell me what are your skills that you are grateful for? What are your resources that you are grateful for. You know, I am, after being in the frozen tundra, you know, in up in Chicago at O'Hare, oh my gosh, it was, it was insanity. And I am so grateful for heat. I am so grateful for running water. I am so grateful for my warm, yummy, healing tea. I am grateful for my, my success. I'm grateful for my skills and abilities. My skills and abilities, they're all, they're, they belong to me and they are what I do to serve this world. And when you take your gifts and you're grateful for your gifts, whatever they are, everyone's are different. When you take them and you are grateful for them and they grow, not only is it going to lead to greater prosperity for you, but also for the entire world. Because when you focus on your own gifts, you will serve the world. I promise you. So, all right. And then prosperity. When you grow your prosperity through gratitude, we need to be grateful for everything that we have, everything, all right? Our food, our water, our heat, our beds to sleep in, our blankets, our coat. I'm grateful for this warm knitted scarf. It feels so warm and yummy around my neck. And all of this will lead to greater security. So, all right, let me just check if anybody has any burning questions that they want answered. So we have got, sometimes the, sometimes the questions and comments are not easy for me to acknowledge. Okay, Cheryl, Cheryl, my, my dear, dear, beautiful, lovely Cheryl Russell got, she is grateful for her skill of photographers. She just landed a huge gig. That is exciting. There is no feeling on earth like when you have just birthed an opportunity and you want to know how to bring more opportunities to your life in 2018, be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your skills, your talents, and your ability. Cheryl, thank you so much for sharing that. All right, so I am going to be bringing you more and more Facebook Lives, lots of things to be excited about. Again, we have the link posted for the Hay House New Year New You catalog, and I am so super excited about this catalog this year because my book is featured in it in the bestsellers catalog as well as uh, the Universe Has Your Back thought cards and Gabby, Bernste Gabby Bernstein's detox Judgment Detox, that's what it's called, New York Times bestseller. All right, everybody, I am signing off for now, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications, at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.